another mukbang monday it's your favorite denim to a bmars and shanti and we're eating an extra special today which, which is, is tokaya ta ta tacos so i think this is an la based chain called mm -hmm. takaya and we just ordered modern mexican like each taco off the menu and uh they were out of some stuff so we couldn't try like all the tacos but we got like three of, of the ones on the menu yeah it's annoying because we ordered online so then like we were told after we paid for it that we were out of stuff which is like frustrating but what can you do <laughs> we also got um agua fresca oh my god i got the strawberry basil one i got the uh cucumber mint mm -hmm. is that what it is mm -hmm. Oh my god, that is so good. It is literally the best drink I've ever had. It's delicious. We're hiding back here some salsa. Mm -hmm. There's just no way to put this safely on camera. Yeah. So that you could see it without it like dumping all over the table. Mm -hmm. That would be a tragedy. Mm -hmm. And we got guac and these plantain chips, which are so good. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. So we can just like go through the tacos and explain what they are as we go. Okay, I'm down. Should we just get started? Yeah, let's get into this. Okay. Should we try to eat the same tacos at the same time? Oh god. The thing is, the order <sighs> was kind of hard. They were like not together with the same tacos. Okay. This one, should we just both try like a chicken one? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take this one right from the middle. Oh. Tacos are so messy. This is gonna be like. Yeah, and since these have been sitting for a while, they're like the corn tortillas falling apart. I was gonna give this, this to you, but. That you took the one with the like uh, cabbage. No, that one's tofu. Um, I think. Mm -hmm. This one, that's avocado. This is, these are chicken right here. This one looks amazing. This is all chicken. Mm-hmm. I'll take this one. I feel like I need to take the. Oh, oh my god. Cheers. I think I have. I have the one with cabbage on it. Is that the Cali one? Cali chicken. Yeah, and I have the Baja. I think it's called. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. This one's so good. This is so fresh. Mm hmm I went here on my birthday. Oh, really? Before I went to the green spot. Mm. Mm. I really like... Like, I don't know what this, like, cream sauce is. Mm hmm So good. It's falling apart. Mm hmm so guys, like a hard place to order from though because they have like types of tacos and then you pick your meat and cheese that you put in those tacos. Mm -hmm. But then online I couldn't find a list of like the meats or cheeses. So it was like suggested fish and I was like, ew, okay, well what else can I get? And then I like couldn't find anything. So I was like, uh. Yeah. I put in like probably 15 minutes. <laughs> this is like not a big deal. Like it's not the end of the world, but I spent like 15 minutes putting in our order on Postmates. And like I was like, whew, finally, okay, like I got everything how I wanted it, because you have to go in and pick. It's your so teeth. selective. Yeah, you have to, it's so tedious. And then once I got to the end, the postmates said, "Great, your order will be sixty minutes." And I was like, "It is literally five minutes away. I will just go pick it up." Yeah, I never can so make then, like postmates worth it. I know. Well, it was free delivery, so I was like, "Oh, heck yeah." Yeah. I feel like so many people. I yeah, know. I like, like never use postmates. It's never like worth it. I know. Maybe it's because we're like, are frugal, mm -hmm. like to our core, like, but I just don't people like, I couldn't live without Postmates. I'm like, what? And they upcharge you for everything. Like, all these tacos were like, like 150 more on Postmates than they were on the menu. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I should just for the same thing. Like, went in and got it. Oh my god, it's so messy. Mmm. This also looks really bomb, too. Mm, mm, mm. Is it? I'm very happy. Want to want to do a guac bite together? Yeah. I'm like sad. It's so cute. Like to ruin his little pomegranate. Mm -hmm. This guac is bomb. Also, it's hard for me to order other Mexican places besides Chipotle, but I'm glad I'm adventuring out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like Chipotle at all. I know, I was thinking that too. I was like, we could just get like Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. Be cheaper. Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh my god, the pomegranate is so good. It's so good. And the chips are so salty. I would never think to put pomegranates on my guac. Isn't it amazing? Who did it? Okay. What should we try next? Mm. Wanna try the tofu? This one's tofu. Oh god, this one's gonna be real messy. Oh no, they're all like falling apart. Here. Oh. This video. They put so much stuff in tacos. Not just here, but like in the lifespan of tacos. They always put way more insides than their space. I've never been able to eat a taco like attractively. <laughs> yeah, I think like the wetness is making the tortilla fall apart. Yeah. <sighs> Looks so good. Which one's this one? This is tofu with I don't know what flavoring. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I can't put this down. Like I will literally disintegrate. Mm. You like it? Mm-hmm. The, the tofu or the chicken better? I think I like the chicken better. But it's hard to tell because like this sauce is good, but the other one I just love that cream sauce. Uh-huh. It was so fresh. I love the cabbage one. Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> This thing keeps on flipping over when I go and take a bite. Watch. <laughs> it like doesn't want to be in. Yeah. Ah. Oh. oh my god. It's so messy. Oh, this is spicy. Okay. Right. I can feel her. It's so hard. I'm like eating and like testing out tacos I just feel like we're like the least controversial mukbangers like on the platform right now mm. we're just like <laughs> like do 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 let's talk about let's tacos talk about yeah <laughs> there's like so much drama happening for no reason yeah do you watch all the drama no I tried but I just don't care <laughs> like whenever I start watching those like also have you noticed that all the Drama channels like Tea and Tea Spill and whatever, they all talk so dramatically. Uh -huh. They're like, it's like they're trying to be Gossip Girl or Goth from Gossip Girl. Like, what's up, mukbangers? Here's the tea on the Nikara Avocado this week. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, just chill. Just chill out, lady. But I don't know. Yeah, I haven't been I able to finish like it. think people like that, though. People love the drama. Yeah. It just seems like to me like Nico just kind of like bullied Stephanie too. And then she was like, I don't like him. And then everyone's like, Mm -hmm. That's the gist of it that I got, but I don't know like the details. Oh. I watched Stephanie Sue's like first video, <clears throat> and then I have no idea like what anybody else's side of the story is. I think it's funny that Zach Choi is involved when like his channel he doesn't even speak on. I know. So I'm like, how, <laughs> yeah. how can you be in drama if you don't even like open your mouth? Yeah. I mean, you open your mouth to eat, but like to speak, I just think it's so like contradictory. Mmm. Oh, they're good. Yeah, they are good. I thought they were honestly gonna be not good. I was gonna get a large order of guac and I wish I did. Like, why wouldn't I? Oh, I'm so dumb. Immediate regret. Mm -hmm. Did you see that Jeffree Star and his boyfriend broke up? I was so sad. They were together for so long. Like, I don't know the no, person. Like, four years. Five. Mm. Like, so many things were like, after five years of dating, they split really? up. Yeah. Well, I was shocked. They seemed so, like, happy and, like, cute. Just living there. But when he, like, deleted his social media, I was like, hmm. Really? I thought that was weird. Hmm. Because I heard. Um, I didn't think anything of it. I heard somewhere that Jeffree Star was like, yeah, he's just, like, over all the people, thirsty people. DMing him and not leaving him alone and he never asked for this life. Mm, yeah. Not to be famous. And I was like, yeah, but wasn't there a scandal about him like messaging people back? And I feel like they probably thought about it and Nate was probably like, I'm just going to delete it. Like, this isn't worth the drama. I mean, I'm all just like speculating, but I don't know. So you think like, he was messaging people? Probably, but like, it, I, I think it probably just got messy too because like, 
they talked openly about having like threesomes and like yeah you're right stuff like that so it's hard to know like what's acceptable and what's not so maybe he didn't even know he was doing something that would like hurt jeffrey or vice versa it's just it just becomes so like muddled yeah it's hard yeah i was really i hate when people break up it makes me so sad because i could feel their pain yeah especially five years like that's a lot a long time to be with someone yeah and that's like your best friend yeah um i was also so i saw that their breakup story and then like did you watch his video he was like crying with his pomeranians yeah so, I, I love the dogs they're so cute they're so cute um he also was wearing a full mink coat in his last instagram picture louis vuitton like forty thousand dollar mink coat and mink like people were calling him like hypocritical but he, like he's not technically vegan but like he's like an animal lover like i was just surprised he would wear mink oh, oh real yeah like you can go look at it on louis vuitton's website and mink Why is so cool. even make that? Like, I know mink farms, like they're so they like skin them alive and stuff. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I won't talk about it while we're eating, but that just that made me really I kind of didn't like Jeffrey for a second after that. It's surprising because I'm just, sure he doesn't know though. Yeah. Like on the website it's like fur safe mink. It's like that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's hard for he, he probably doesn't know. I know, but it made me really sad. I was like, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I never followed him on Instagram, so this 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 straw is disintegrating. Yeah, I I'm giving up on her. I know what you mean. Have you ever used a pasta straw? No. I've been to restaurants where they have pasta straws. It's pretty ingenious, but like after a while, it turns to like wet pasta. <laughs> Ew, yeah, and then it's like a soggy noodle. I just don't get why, like, restaurants, like, don't just use metal straws and, like, wash them. You have to wash the cups and stuff anyway. I think metal straws are, well, it's probably a bitch, like, get in there with the cleaner, you know? Mm. But you hire dishwashers. That's true. But I think all they do is put it in a machine. That's true. I have seen those. <laughs> um... Did we have anything to talk about today? all around? Yeah. <laughs> Not specifically. We were just going to try a bunch of tacos. Mm. <laughs> it's hard, like, because I want, like, I feel like people, I feel like I'm trying to talk about this because people have asked us in the comments to, like, talk about, like, drama stuff and, like, our opinions. Mm. But I, then I'm, like, not educated enough in them. To have an opinion? To have an opinion. Yeah. And also, like, I just don't care about drama. Like, I feel like people below shit wear out of proportion when, like, like small things that don't really even matter. It's like, why are we caring about this so much? Yeah, like, when Trisha Paytas <coughs> ghosted Nikado Avocado. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's LA. <laughs> like, that's just LA. But, I mean, people wouldn't know that around the world. Your hair looks good. I just got it done yesterday. I can tell. It's very bright. We can talk about, I booked a, another commercial. I saw on your Instagram. I, I, I haven't seen you in like a week. Um, it's shooting tomorrow. I saw you, um, wait, is that the audition you went to? Mm hmm Where, what did you have to do again? I have the lip sync. Oh, okay. I've done a couple weird auditions lately, but um, in this commercial, I'm going to be lip singing to a song while what? making juice. What song? Um, it's a Stevie Wonder song. For most of my life. Oh, oh yeah, I love that song. I, okay, you told me this exact yeah. story like a week ago, but I already forgot. But I love that song. Mm -hmm. Stop. Oh, the juice. Okay, I remember this song. I thought well, I talked to you about it. Well, you told me about the audition, but you didn't tell me when you booked it. What kind of juicer was it? Because we were like, oh, it was, there was no one actually there. It was all fake. I had to mime it. Oh, which, I haven't seen it yet. Which um, which juicer did you pretend it was? It went like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that even is. Because you were like, how do you use a juicer? Yeah, well, the and guy. I was like, well, there's different kinds. <laughs> the guy demonstrated it that way, so I just did it his way. Oh. But, like, I know there's ones that are, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I feel like that would be much more awkward if I was, like. Well, like, there's ones that you, like. Never mind. It's going to sound so stupid. It was, like, you put it in the top, the orange. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, like, you put the, you can do, like, a cucumber. And then you, like. <laughs> or, like, a citrus juicer. It's, like. And I'm, like. 
<laughs> They're like, wow, this girl's really getting into it. Oh my Um, I literally, I thought, where'd that come from? Sorry. Oh, that was someone's coming in. I had stuff to talk about and now I can't remember. You done anything fun this past week? No, I just worked every single day. No exciting news? No, but I've been really depressed. We can talk about that. Why? We're just like severe, like I just- I feel like you've been severely busy. I've been like, let's hang out, let's film, let's do anything. And I haven't like, seen a lot of day in a week. Yeah. I feel like I'm psychotic. <laughs> but like, I was literally at, I was babysitting yesterday, just sitting on the couch and I was like, I feel like I just want to cry right now. Like, like yeah. I haven't been outside and done anything fun. Me and Connor are on opposite schedules. I don't like speak to anyone during the day besides like- Me like, trying to bully you to film with me? No, like, like people I just met, like on set. Yeah. So, but even Bridget, like, I helped uh, our friend today from Point Park. She said, I haven't seen her in so long. Like, how is she? And I'm like, well, we're trying to, like, meet up right now. I haven't seen her, like, all week because you're just so busy. Like, I feel like people want to hang out with you. You're just, like, never available. Really? Nobody you, like, ever messages me. <laughs> That's true. What, did you ever message them? No. Yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> well, I feel bad. I don't want you to be depressed. I'm really depressed. Why don't you come hang out with me? I've been trying to take class for yeah, me too. My schedule is just so bizarre. Yeah. You work so much, dude. It's like the longest hours. <laughs> Do you feel like the people, like you can't reach out to anybody? Or do you feel like trapped because you're at work? No, I just feel like I don't, I'm not like living my best life because I haven't been doing anything like fun you know mm -hmm. like there's no like work-life balance <laughs> <laughs> and I literally yeah. haven't seen the light of day that's what it really is if I don't go outside and like see the sun and like work out I it, like really affects me yeah I like need I'm like a plant I feel like he's like now I like work out every day and like you inspired me to do that it used to be like so like go to the gym every day go to the gym every day I would wake up and you'd already be back to the gym I'm like that's true like, what's wrong with me but now like I mean, uh, it me. comes in waves, but like if you babysit, then you sleep there, and then that's like a whole day job. Just nothing you can do. Like my other friend who babysits, I think she feels the same way. She actually, that's why she like quit doing it. Literally, first world problems. I just thought I'd let you guys know how I'm doing. <laughs> no, I feel like it's. I just always get depressed in the winter. Just for no reason. It's funny because I feel like you're depressed, like but I should I, like, be happy. I get anxious, like, how you're like, I'm depressed, I'm not doing anything towards my future. I'm, like, really anxious right now. Oh, there's a little kitten. Hi. Hi. That was so long. He, like, held that note. But, like, my goal was, like, oh, I need to sign up for acting classes, and I, like, still haven't done it, and then I keep researching them, and then I keep not signing up to audit any of them, and I'm, like, I don't know. Like, that, like, gets you stressed? Yeah, I'm, like, anxiety. I'm, like, you're not doing anything. You're just oh, getting older. That's how I feel. I'm like, I'm like, that's why I hate my birthday. I'm like, I'm so much older and I haven't accomplished my goals still. That's why I, that's why I don't like turning older. Turning older. Turning older. <laughs> <laughs> getting older. Like, I feel really bad talking so negatively. I hate talking negatively. Well, it's so hard too because I'm doing I'm just that, that gratitude book again. Like, have different gratitude practice a day because I didn't do them today because I worked last night. And whenever I work, I just like, don't meditate or do anything that I'm like working towards. Remember, I was like, I've been meditated every day. Mm, yeah. Yep, didn't do the past couple days because I like worked Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Whatever, I'm trying not to beat myself up. But so much about this like gratitude book is like, if you think of anything negative, you're gonna attract negative. And then if you think of anything positive, you attract positive, but negatives outweigh the positive. So like for every one negative thought, you have to think of like 10 positive things. And I'm like, that makes it way too stressful. Yeah. And like, I feel like so much about the human existence is just like connecting with people over my foot stuck, you know, what you're going through. So it's like, if think if we could only talk about positive things all the time to each other, then it's like, you would be like running out of things to say, cause you're not being true to like your struggles, you know? And then is it bad to like not talk about your struggles cause you keep them bottled inside? Gratitude confuses the fuck out of me. <laughs> 
This mukbang is so random. <laughs> I know. Maybe we should start like organizing our topics and thoughts. If you I guys don't... could give us some topics in the description box down below. In the comments down below? We will. Oh yeah, comments. <laughs> we will refer to this bang for our future topics. Yeah. The people who really like hearing us talk because it's like just two friends like hanging out. But I feel like if we had some strategy behind it, like maybe it would be more successful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we end this this bang? I'm cool. Do you want this last taco? No, that one's all like wet and falling apart. I'm over it. Yeah. We'll give it to Cairo. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure you let us know by giving a big thumbs up and comment down below some video topic ideas. And also, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we post videos every Monday. And follow us on Instagram at mukbang.monday. Mine is bmars. There's this Shanti Marie underscore. Yeah, and I think that's about it. I'm sorry for complaining about my non-existent problems. You're not complaining. You're sharing the human experience. Thank you. That makes me feel bad. <laughs> Should feel bad. Okay, well, we love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday out. out.